everyone, it's Leslie Oman here for Heffy Doodle and today I'm going to be making this fun card using the Berry Big Heart stamp set and I'm also mixing that up with some sentiments from Happy Snappy Crocs and I'm using the Lawn Fawn Pinata image here as well. And also throughout this video, I'll be showing you how to create a fun textured background using some embossing paste. So let's start here with my very big heart stamp set and this stamp set has got three cute little bears and I'm using this one which is looking over to the left and he has one of his hands sort of sticking out a little bit so I thought that that would be really fun and I'm going to make him hold a, a stick and he's going to be beating the pinata because that's what you do with pinatas right so I'm going to snap this little cutie onto some DCP paper this is by a company called Claire Fontaine and it is a Copic friendly paper. So I really enjoy using that. And I'm using my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, which is a really nice dark black intense kind of color. And once again, is Copic friendly. Also in this stamp set, there is an umbrella and I'm going to just use the, the stick or you guess the handle, I guess, of the umbrella to be my makeshift pinata stick here for this card. But I'll ink up the whole image because um, I might actually use the umbrella for another project. I'll use my close up cam here so that you can see me as I color in this little bear. And I want to keep my color tones of my card quite light so I'm using some YRs to color in this cute little bear so I'll start off with some lighter tones and then darken up along his back and the back of his head and not forgetting some shadows or shading in that hand on the left hand side and once I get him nice and colored in I'll also add a little bit of gray to his snout and also bring in a little blush so that he has a nice rosy cheek because he's been hitting his pinata. He wants to get all that candy out of there. <laughs> now for the stick itself, I didn't really know what color I wanted to do that. So I brought in some light sort of green colors as I had already pre-colored the pinata and I had some light blues, pinks and a green color. So I thought I'd bring in some of that sort of light green teal color to the handle. Once I have these all done, here's a quick look at my Copics. I'm going to use the coordinating dies to cut these little stamped images out. And I'm going to run these through my uh, desktop die cutting machine. This is the Baby Blue Machine by Tattered Lace and I love this little thing. It has a really good, it's a, it's a good gear if that makes sense. So it means that you don't have to turn the handle lots and lots and lots and it goes through really easy. I've used some of my post-it tape um, paper, my tape thing, to hold my dies in place and that means that they won't move around. So here's my little pinata. This is from Lawn Fawn. I think it's a year seven celebratory stamp set that they released. And I've colored that off camera. And I've also colored a couple of the little collection of candy. But let's move over to now creating the background for my card. So I have this product. This is called True Snow. It's a bit like embossing paste. And you can get embossing paste in different colors. However, for me, I only have a clear embossing paste and then this one, which is a white, but it has more of a foamy texture, so it looks like snow. I'm going to be coloring my own, my own texture paste or embossing paste simply by using my Distress Inks. I've got some Mermaid Lagoon Distress Inks here and I'm going to tap that onto a craft mat and then using a palette knife, I will scoop out a little bit of my embossing paste here and smoosh it all together, work that ink into my embossing paste. Now the great thing is, if I add some more of the paste, I will actually lighten that color and get a more pastel kind of tone to my embossing paste. Once you have it all worked in, 
You can use a stencil and spread over the embossing paste using your craft knife, not your craft knife, your palette knife, or you can use an old gift card. Now, I actually had another one already done, which has some stars on it. This is a stencil from, both stencils were from Simon Says Stamp. This one has more like snowflakes, but I'll keep that one for another project. Okay, so I'm taking a piece of card here and using a Simon Says Stamp stitched circle die to cut an aperture on the front of my card. And that will be a, a frame behind which that I will put my embossed panel just to create a fun background on this card today, like this. So I'll stick this embossed panel onto a front of a note card. I noticed that there is a little, one of my stars is a little smooshed. So when I'm assembling my card, I'll make sure that I'll cover this star. So um, I'll cover it with the pinata or the little bear so it'll not be noticeable at all. So now I have my front panel, I have a card blank and my embossing paste piece of card as well. I'll just trim this down so that it doesn't stick out of the edge when I assemble it. And then adhere this to the front of my card and, and it's ready to go. Now I want to grab my little pinata and the bear and lay them out kind of where I want them to be, but I'm not going to stick them down just yet because I want to make sure I can a stamp and greeting on the front, but I have grabbed some twine here. This is like a jute twine, a natural kind of fiber. And I'll use some foam squares to stick the twine onto the back of my cute little pinata and cover him with some foam. So now whenever I adhere this to the center of this circular panel, it will look like he is hanging down a bit like a pinata is supposed to do, right? <laughs> I want this to be a birthday card, so I've grabbed the Happy Snappy Crocs Heffy Doodle stamp set, which has some fun birthday images and birthday sentiments on it. And using my Misty, my mini Misty tool, I'm going to line up my happy birthday sentiment and then stamp this. I pulled out an ink pad that is a blue ink pad, a very similar tone to the blue stars in my background. So I'm going to use that for stamping my sentiment. And the great thing about using the Misty is that I can stamp it several times to build up different layers of color, which changes the intensity of the stamping. Now also from the Happy Snappy Crocs stamp set is a little sentiment that says, I hope you have a, and then that, this is perfect to go above the words happy birthday. So I'm going to use my Misty once again to stamp this. And this time I'm using a pink pigment ink that I had in my stash. And that brings some of that pink tones that is on my pinata. Now for my top layer, now that it's all stamped, I'm ready to adhere it down. And I'm using some craft foam here. This is a large roll that I have, and I use my craft knife and a bit of um, leftover sticker backer paper, like a wax paper, to cut mine into some strips. And then I can simply peel off the backer and adhere this top panel onto the front of my card. Now I'm ready to stick on my little pinata, but I'll add a glue dot to the top section of my card here and peel off the backers off my foam tape. And then I can adhere this down onto the card and secure the string in place. I do need to give my cute little bear a, a stick so he can hit the pinata so we can get all the candy. He's got a sweet tooth. So I'm going to trim out the handle of this little um, umbrella and very carefully, so this end won't have the border around it because um, it was part of the stamp. So that end I will actually tuck behind his little belly. I'll glue it in place using a little two-way glue pen. So I'll pop it onto his hand and then tuck the rest behind his belly so you never know the fact that it's actually part of another stamp. Now with the Lawn Fawn Pinata, you do have these 
little candy elements and there is a fun die which cuts all three of them out at once. And so I'm going to do exactly that. And then I'm ready to stick on my cute little bear and add the candy as well. I'm only going to add three of these and I'll glue one straight onto the top layer. And for the other two, I'll add a little tiny piece of foam tape behind these and stick them on just below the, um, the little pinata onto the starry background. I've just trimmed off the overhang of the string and added a cute little ribbon bow at the top here. And my card is done. Don't forget to come on over to the blog and to join our Heffy Doodle Challenge, which is still running until the end of May, where you can be in with a chance to win the whole June release. So you guys got to check that out. You're definitely going to want to see that and to take part in that. It's over $300 worth of Heffy Doodle goodies. Thank you so much for watching this video. Here's some more videos that you may like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to make sure that you don't miss any of my other videos as soon as they're released. You can also leave me a like and a comment down here and don't forget to follow me on social media at Hungry Heffy. I'll see you there. Have a great day and happy crafting. Bye.